No, for this video we aren't playing Water Girl and Water Fire. What? So before you come at me, I'm really sorry for not being active for a while. I think for a month now. I've been a bit busy with school and I have no idea what to do for a video. But now I have finally come up with an idea. But before we get into the video, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I have actually swapped rooms with Talia. That there is my old room. I think we swapped before Christmas or before New Year's Eve. So anyway, different types of parents. So we all have them, but some people don't and I respect that. And we all love them, I think. So there are so many different parents out there, as you probably know, and I'm going to be acting as a few of them. So we all know that mum who is addicted to Facebook. I personally know one of these mums, Totally not because my mum is a Facebook mum. What are you talking about? And I'm sure you do too. Now these Facebook mums have to bring their phone absolutely everywhere, not in case for something important like a phone call. Wait, sorry, taking photos and posting them on Facebook is important. Like really important. <laughs> Cause you know, memories. Right? <laughs> Not only is their phone glued in their hand with Facebook open when they go somewhere, but also when they're at home. Sorry, I just got to post this photo on Facebook on my lunch that I had today. So just cue the skip. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Darcy, Darcy. You know Caitlin? Caitlin, your fourth cousin, plays volleyball, much more successful than you'll ever be. Well, she had a baby. Yeah, not sure congrats is the right word. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Want to see what Tasha did on the weekend with the kids. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hey, Mum. Mum. Mum! What is it? I was wondering. Look, I'm trying to post a picture of you, so if you want to be famous, hold your horses. I only have like 20 followers on Facebook. 20 is a big number, okay? You'll understand once you're older. And then there's the overprotective parents slash helicopter parents. Helicopter, helicopter. Who don't let their kids have a photo or video of them posted on social media. Like, I get it. There's a lot of shady people on there. But sometimes they can be a bit too overprotective. Like not letting their kid use a glass cup until they're 15. Oh, hold on. A bit thirsty. Oh, crap. Wrong cup. That's more like it. Tinkerbell. Camper parents. So I know there's families out there that don't like going camping because you know, mozzies biting you every two seconds. So the next day you have 30 itchy bites on one leg and then 20 on the other. You know, if you think about it, mozzies are literal bug traders. Please don't come at me because I don't know how to say literal properly. Apparently I don't know how to say properly either. Not the trader when it's like, you betrayed me. I know that I'll never Oh, thank god that's over My ears were starting to bleed then So the type of trade when it's like I'll give you five of my Pokemon cards for your ten bucks, hey? Except they don't go away when you tell them to bug off Like they stab your skin, drink your blood In return for you have a red, itchy, irritated bump on your skin Ugh. Ugh. So anyway, you know that family that always seems to be camping because they are? Well, yeah, that one. I'm not sure what to say about this one, so just cue the skit. Okay, so Lucy, what you want to do is just un... 
buckle the strap somewhere. Ah, uh, oh, oh, it's right. Found them. No need to worry anymore. Found them. So, no, Lucy, Lucy, no. So you pull this, okay? Don't pull this, okay? You so once you've done this part, it should start to unravel itself. Please start with the middle. No, no, Lucy, start with the middle. Oh, do you have ears? Just got up. Seven. Oh, there we go, there we go. Did you know back in my day, I was the absolute champ at hide and seek? Not the seeking, the hiding. So we have the helicopter parents, and then we also have the parents that are only 3% protective of their child. Like, you know, the cool wild type of parents that let their kids do anything they want, like literally anything. By the age of three, they let their kids light a match without anyone watching and let them go swimming by the time they're five again without anyone watching. I mean, don't get me wrong. I get it why they let their kids go swimming alone and light a match alone. Then maybe five and three are a bit too young, just like maybe like a year older, but at least, you know, the parents trust their kids. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will try my best to post my next video before a month is up. You know, I just realised how many times I have said like. Like, I've said it so many times that I just said it two times in that sentence. Well, I hope to see you in my next video. Scratch you later, dogs. Bye. One, two, three, let's go. I have the power to hold Facebook in the palm of my hand. Wow.